Hi everyone. Today we're going to begin sewing the dress that we've started to draft in class. When it's completed, your dress will have a princess lined bodice, a convertible collar, puff sleeves, and an A-line skirt. Let's get started with sewing the bodice first. You should have cut out already one center back, two side backs, two side fronts, and two center fronts. Uh, what I recommend doing first is marking the wrong side of each fabric piece. We always refer to the outside of the fabric as the right side and the inside of the fabric as the wrong side. Sometimes you'll have a fabric like muslin that happens to be the exact same on both sides. And we don't want to run the risk of accidentally sewing the incorrect sides of the fabric together and ending up with parts of the garment that are inside out. So it's really helpful to go in advance and mark uh, the wrong side of each pattern piece so that you don't get mixed up while you're sewing. So let's first look at our backs right here. Here's my center back. Here are my two side backs. I wanna be sure to separate the two side backs and place them as a mirror image of one another so that I'm sure that I have a left and a right happening. And then just take a pencil once they're laid out like that and just do a little, little X mark on each piece. And this will indicate the wrong side of the fabric, which will end up inside the garment as it's completed. So that's our back. Let's do the same thing for the front. Here are the center fronts. So you will also separate them and lay them out so that you have a left and a right facing up. Take your two side backs and do the same thing. Then go ahead and do a little X mark on each piece. When we're sewing all of our seams, we will be sewing with the right sides of the fabric together. So this is gonna help us out in that process. The first seams that we're going to be sewing will be the princess lines on the front of the bodice. So that's gonna be attaching a center front to a side front on both sides but there's a little something that we have to do before we just place the pieces of fabric together and sew right on up. When we drafted our pattern, we created a little excess of fabric on our side front, right across the bust. So that means from this upper ease control notch to the lower one, this measurement of your side front panel is larger than that of the center front. So we're gonna sew a little easing stitch between those notches that will help us ease this excess of fabric into the slightly smaller space of the center front panel. To do that, we're gonna take the side front panel over to the sewing machine and we are going to sew a long basting stitch between the upper and lower notches. To sew our ease stitch between the two notches here, we wanna set our machines to a basting stitch length, which pretty much just means a long stitch length. Um, I have mine at about five millimeters, so that's usually a, a good basting stitch length. You wanna make sure that both your upper and bobbin threads have a little bit of length to them behind the foot, about six inches or so. And also when we finish, you'll wanna leave the same excess length. You don't wanna snip the thread close to where you start and finish. Our seam allowance that we factored into our princess line is half inch, but we want this basting stitch to be hidden inside the seam. So we're gonna sew it at a slightly smaller seam allowance than that. And that will be 3 8 of an inch. Now, my machine does not have a line for 3 8 of an inch on the throat plate. It should be between the quarter and half inch marks. So I'm gonna go ahead and give myself my own little guideline with a post-it note. And I'll just place the edge of the post-it right between quarter and half. And now I have a 3 8 of an inch line to follow. So you're gonna be sewing between your upper and lower ease control notches at 3 8 of an inch. And you do not want to do a back stitch at either end of this. Here we go. Just gonna start with our long stitch. It's okay if you go one or two stitches beyond the notch. You just wanna be roughly in that territory. So leave a little extra thread as you cut it. And then repeat the same thing for both side front panels. So now I have my ease control stitch 
sewn along the bust area of both side front panels. I've laid out all my pieces to have the right side of the fabric facing up. We want the right sides together when we sew. So that allows us to take one of our center front panels and just fold it right over on top of our side front panel. And we'll do the same thing over here. And let's start pinning the first one. So whenever you're pinning any of your seams, you want to be sure to always pin the beginning and end points of your seam first as well as then moving on to any notches that need to match up and pinning those. So let's go ahead and do that. On the upper corner here, just wanna point out that when you go to match up your corners, depending on how you shaped the seam allowance and whether or not you squared it at your corner, the actual corners of the fabric may not match up, but the more important thing is that the edges along which you are sewing are matched and on the upper edge here, they need to match where your notch is, which is right where your sewing line is going to be. So we'll pin this corner. Let's move on to the bottom. Always pin perpendicular to the seam. That helps your fabric lie a little more smoothly as you sew, as well as uh, makes the pins easier to remove as you go along. Now we'll pin our notches. So I'm gonna match up my first set of ease control notches and pin. Let's come down to the bottom ones and see how down here, if I just let the fabric lay smoothly, how these two notches are nowhere near one another. That's because of the ease that we factored into the side front panel. So whatever it takes, you gotta make those notches match. Bring them together and pin. And then come right over here to our last notch, right at the apex bring them together and pin. You'd even kind of see from the side here how we have this little bit of excess from our side front panel. So we're gonna deal with that with uh, the basting stitches that we added. Those are what's gonna help us draw that excess fabric inward and help it match up to the center front panel a little bit better. So if I flip it over here, you wanna grab the thread that's on the upper side of the fabric, pinch right where that thread begins and just gently pull to draw some of that excess inward along your side front panel until it shrinks it down and it can fit into the space properly. And then place a pin halfway in the middle to hold it in place. Do the same thing on the bottom as well. So just gently pull that excess inward, but you wanna be sure that you don't have any little folds or gathers being created, either when you're pinning or sewing. So really just kind of pull that thread, ease it into place, and pin. Okay, and I may even adjust this one a little bit. Okay, all right, so now we've got that pretty well eased into place. Let's add a couple more pins on the rest of the seam. So right here on the upper section of the princess line, and make sure everything is nice and matched up and pin it once halfway. And we'll do the same thing down here for the bottom. Match them up. And the upper and lower sections should, in theory, be the exact same length. So you shouldn't have any trouble uh, with any ease along these portions here. All right, so that one's pinned. Let's go ahead and move on to the second one. We're pinning it the same way. We're ready to sew our princess seams. We're gonna be using half inch seam allowance as we go, and we'll be sure to secure the beginning and end of our seam with a little back stitch. There's not a set rule about which piece of fabric should be on top when you sew, but I find that having the side front panel with all of its excess on here on top is a little bit better because that way you can really kind of control this excess as you sew and be sure to adjust it as necessary so that you don't sew over any little gathers. So let's start right up here. I'm right on the half inch line and I want to start a little ways down from the beginning just so I can begin with my back stitch. Oh, 
And also, be sure that you've reset your machine's stitch length back to a standard two and a half millimeter. We don't wanna be on that five millimeter basting stitch anymore, so make sure you've made that adjustment. Now we'll just continue forward and just follow in that half inch. Make sure you remove the pins as you go or your machine will hate you. Okay, so now I'm coming up to my little ease sections. So really kind of press that excess down as you go over it, still on your half inch line. No gathers or puckers here, okay? Be sure you're checking everything underneath as well. With princess seams, it's really easy to sew over a fold in the under layer of fabric, so watch out for that. And see here, as it's starting to make a little fold, I can kind of lift the foot and sort of flatten it out, pull a little excess behind me. See, now it's nice and smooth and we can continue up to our last notch. And now we're on the home stretch. to come all the way to the end and finish with your back stitch and now we'll repeat the same thing for the other side After you finish your front princess seams, you want to get in there and snip off any stray threads. It's a good habit to clean up your threads as you go because sometimes they can even get tangled in the next seam you're sewing. So I've gone ahead and snipped all the threads and you'll just want to turn it over to the right side and check along your side front here that you didn't catch any gathers as you sewed along the bust area of your princess seam. So once that's good, we can go ahead and move on to the back. Back princess seams are pretty much the same as front, except even easier. We don't have the same amount of excess along our side back panels, so we don't have to begin with that same gathering stitch that we sewed along uh, the side front panels. We can just go right into it and pin and sew our princess seams as they are. So with the right sides up again, we can set one side back panel aside and begin by grabbing uh, the center back and side back from one side. Flip this over so that our right side's together, and now we can start to pin. So start by pinning one end, then come way up here and pin the other. And next come your notches. So match up this notch right here, pin, okay. Now that all of our notches and endpoints are pinned, now we can split the difference between the remaining sections so that our seam is thoroughly pinned and ready to sew. So come to the bottom portion here, make sure your edges are matched, pin in the middle, this part right here where it curves over the shoulder blade. You gotta really bring those curves together and pin right in the middle. And that's pretty much good to go. So let's get our other side pinned as well and then we'll be able to sew both of them while we're at the machine. So here we go with our back princess seams. Same half inch seam allowance, same back stitch at both ends. So here's our back stitch, 
the edges of the fabric together along that curve. Sometimes it's easier to grab the piece underneath and pull it outwards if you need to. first one. Now we'll move right into the second. Aside from trimming our threads as we go, another thing we also want to do is press our seams. So I have the iron all heated up and ready to go. We're gonna be pressing our seam allowances of our princess seams open. But to do so with any seam that you press, it's always a good idea to first, without opening up the seam allowances, just go over the top of your stitches. This will help the thread just sort of sink into the fabric a little bit more. And see how I'm not really running the iron too far into the main body of the garment because you don't wanna press any unwanted folds into the rest of it, but just go right over your stitches. Same thing on this one. So I'm going right over the stitches, checking underneath that I'm not creating unnecessary folds. And now we can flip it over and press our seam allowances open. Our princess line created a three-dimensional shape when we sewed it. So we don't necessarily want to just come in and press it flat on the ironing board because we'll end up potentially pressing folds that we don't want into the garment as well as smooshing out all that nice shape we created. So the tailor's hem is a really good tool to use for pressing anything that's a little bit more 3D. So see how I have the hem underneath and I'll place my seam right on top of it here. And this way I can really kind of pull the garment open Spread my two seam allowances apart. And you could even go in advance with your fingertip and run it through the seam because you wanna make sure that you get a nice deep press where the seam allowances are really fanning open, okay? So I'll start at the bottom here and just take my iron and bring it right over the top. And see now the, the ham makes it so whatever I'm pressing is really kind of isolated from the rest of the garment. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other princess seam. Then for the third stage to give you a really nice crisp seam, you can also press it from the other side, which will be the right side of the garment. So we're just gonna go over that same seam again and this will really set it in place and ah, look how nice that is. Pressing really is kind of the key to the success of any garment. You could sew it perfectly, but your seams will look kind of lumpy and bubbly if you don't do the proper pressing along the way. Okay, now our other one. Our back bodice is right here, nicely pressed. Let's move on to the front. So my front is in two sections, remember. And the front is where something like the ham really comes in handy even more because we have a much larger curve going over the bust on the front here. But we want to still ultimately press it 
in a similar way. So I'll start with it like this, not spread open yet. Just kind of use the side edge or the tip of your iron to go over the top of the stitches. And then we can begin to press them open. So right here on the curviest part of the bust, that's where the ham really comes in handy. What you may also want to do, your seam allowance here between your ease control notches as it goes over the bust, you can take your shears and on your center front panel, you may want to clip the seam, or the seam allowance inward a little bit more. You can already see where the notches are, so you could use those as a starting point and clip them a little deeper and then add a couple more clips in between and this will help that smaller seam allowance measurement fan out and sit a little more smoothly as we press it so now that we've clipped let's see how that pressing goes i'm going to use the side of my ham here and just get right in there Flip it over, press from the right side. If you don't have a ham, even kind of wrapping up a towel into a sort of roundish bundle will give you something to put underneath and help you press that seam. Because otherwise, if you try to press this princess seam for the front on a flat surface, you may run into trouble. But I can even kind of lift up the excess like this and get in here. You just really don't want to have any folds going right over the bust there. There we go. See, there's this little one here. I didn't actually sew over a fold. So let's really kind of smooth that out. There we go. Okay, so that's one side. Other side, same deal. So now you should have all of your princess seams sewn and your seam allowance is pressed open on your two fronts as well as your one back. The next part we're going to sew will be our shoulder seams right up here. So I have the back bodice laid out with the right side of the fabric facing up and then you'll take each of your front bodice pieces and place them with the right side down onto the back, okay? So we could just pin one first and then we'll move on and do the same thing with the other. But let's just come right up here to our shoulder seam. As per usual, we'll wanna match the beginning and end of the seam first, as well as our princess lines. We really wanna make sure that those two seams are matched up as well. So match your corners, pin, come down to the other end, and pin. And then right here in the middle, make sure your seam allowances on both sides stay open in the manner that we pressed them. 
and we'll want to be sure that they are pinned together exactly. Because of the angle that these uh, princess seams hit the shoulder seam, you may not want to focus on whether they're matched at the edges of the fabric here and instead focus on them being matched a half inch in from the edge where you're actually going to be sewing. So what I like to do is about a half inch in, stick my pin right in the seam and then check on the other side to see that I'm also coming out in the other princess seam. And if I am, then I can go ahead and weave my pin back through. And that'll ensure that they stay matched up as I sew across them. Even though your shoulder seam is, you know, kind of short and unassuming, I still like to add a few more pins halfway in between because the shoulder seam sits on the bias of the fabric, which is known to kind of stretch and pull open as you sew. So honestly, a few more pins will really kind of help you out on that one. But that's pretty much good enough for that. Let's go ahead and move on to the other shoulder seam. Now we're ready to go. And both of our shoulder seams are going to be sewn at half inch seam allowance, back stitch at both ends. Done. Let's go right into the next one. There we go. Shoulder seams complete. It's pretty much our routine that we will sew, trim our threads, and press. Sew, trim, press. So I hope you've also gone ahead and clipped all your unnecessary threads away. Now we're gonna be pressing those shoulder seams open as well. So I got the first one ready to go. And before we press it open, just go right over the top. First one. Then the other. Okay. Now we can proceed to press them open. So this you can do on a flat surface without the hem because the shoulder seam is straight. So I'm just gonna spread the garment open. Come right in the middle and first just crease it open with your fingertips. It makes the pressing go much better. And then bring your iron right in. Press those seam allowances open. So we'll first do that from the wrong side of the garment. Here's our other shoulder seam. Oop, we have a boo-boo. See that? See how my seam allowance got flipped over? If that happens to you, then you will want to fix it. So. I'm gonna go ahead and seam rip this little portion away, make sure that corner gets flipped back and I will be right back with you. We're back. I've fixed that rebellious little corner. Now we can go ahead and proceed with our pressing as planned. So right over the top. And then spread the seam allowance open. First finger crease it. and then go over it with your iron. Okay, and then let's finish it off by flipping it over, pressing from the right side. And this is now when we can also admire our lovely work. Hopefully you got those uh, princess lines matched up like a boss, looking good. So we'll just go right over the top. Let's check our other one. Oh yeah, looking good. Seems nicely matched up. That's what we want. Okay, our shoulder seams are now completed. 
Our final step in assembling our bodice today is going to be the side seams. Right now my bodice is oriented right side out, but make sure you flip it back so that it is inside out, which leaves the right sides of the fabric together again. Okay, so we're gonna be pinning each of these side seams and they should be pretty straightforward. No ease, no weird curves, same length. So you just want to match up the beginning and pin. Match up the ends, pin, and then we go in the middle, and then in the middle up here, and in the middle down there. Pinning in this order rather than from one end working your way down to the other is what helps make sure that the fabric stays evenly distributed along your seam. So I'm just gonna flip this one around and pin it in the same manner. And now we're good to go. We're gonna sew both side seams at half inch seam allowance, back stitching at both the beginning and the end, and then we will finish by pressing our seam allowances open. Again, we're gonna be having a back stitch at the beginning, sewing with half inch seam allowance, back stitching at the end. Here we go. First one done. Now our second one. Voila, side seams finished. I've trimmed the threads from my side seams. We're ready to press. So first, right over the top for one seam and the other and then we'll finish by pressing them both open. So really kind of spread your garment open. Okay, so get this nice and pulled open and then split your seam allowances apart. And just go right over it with your iron. First from the wrong side. And then now we'll flip it over and finish off with a press from the right side. Okay. We've now completed the sewing of our princess line bodice, and now it will be ready for us to move on to the next stage of the project, which will be attaching the collar and facing.